Hello everybody and welcome back to more Life is Strange episode 2. Let's have a look around, shall we? looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Hi Samuel, creepy guy. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Yeah, because he's got food. That's the only reason. It's not because he's a gentle nature soul. Ah, there's Samuel, up early, already commuting with the critters. Sorry, sorry. I'm being very judgmental of Samuel, but come on. He's just, he is creepy. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. Right. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. You know, I can kind of see that in your face. You, you do look a little squirrely. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Please do not refer to yourself in the third person. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Ah! Uh! That's really creepy, man. <laughs> See you later. Of course you will. Because I'll be kidnapping you later. <laughs> I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? Yeah. How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Okay, creepiness intensifies. What is that dot 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 thing? Uh... Maybe it means I can talk I've to Samuel? I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? What the fudge? I definitely won't play with this thing again. Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. And too easy to sneak into. Okay, Samuel. I think we need to have another talk. And morning rituals be damned. Hello again, Samuel. Hello again yourself, Max. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. So did you know her? Like I told the police. She was a good egg. And she gave me those photos. Oh, you talked to the police? Rachel wanted to be a model. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning. Of course you will. Okay. Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? But I could use this to attract squirrels. Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrels. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. Uh. Remind me again why I want to do this. I better not get near the bench, or the squirrel won't take the food. Am I trying to take a picture? Yes! Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. <laughs> it doesn't mind you being this close to it? Interesting. Uh, at my university, yeah, we did have squirrels like that. I had a squirrel once come up to me and like take a piece of bread out of my hand. Pretty cute. 
Nothing else? Alright. Taylor? I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Really? I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Oh, shit. Yeah. I want to talk to her about Kate's video. Hi, Taylor. Why would you... About your mom. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Uh -huh. Hi again, Taylor. Hey, that wasn't such a bad talk. We should do it again. See you later. Wait, 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 wait. But I wanted to... Fuck. Oh, I do want to see what she knows about, uh... Hi, Taylor. Why would you... I Hold don't want to... You're funny. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Mm -hmm. Never mind, Taylor. That was a great talk, Max. Let's not do it again. Now, if you'll excuse me... Alright, now that I have talked to her about that, I was kind of hoping she would offer information about what happened that night, but uh, that's not what happened, so I want to go back to Hi, the quote-unquote you... good ending. I've heard... Well... I know. I'm... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. So now that we're buddy-buddy with Taylor... <sighs> what now? Nathan's father. Does the message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications? You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a final polite warning. Wow. What douche nozzles. Apparently, oh no, that's at the whale thingy, so. Take the bus to get to the diner. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. uh, this is. Okay, this is the beginning again. Ah. Alright. The Prescott Dormitory? Good mm -hmm. lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Max, get over here! Warren is out and about already, too. Looks like he's waiting for somebody. Uh, you. <laughs> he's waiting for you, because he's your little bitch, remember? Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting? For a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Just a pirate? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Uh, should I confide in him? Uh, I don't know. He could help. He is my little bitch after all. And it is nice to have friends to talk to things about. But then again, 
We're talking threats here. <sighs> but you know, I always watch TV shows and movies and I see people do this where it's just like, Oh, I shouldn't tell people because I don't want them to get hurt or involved and blah 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 and it ends up going badly all the time. I I'm gonna confide in him. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Sure. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Aww. He is so crushing. I have to tell Brooke I'm going with you to the movies instead. I'll text you later. Wait, pardon? Were you gonna go to the movies with Brooke before? Hmm. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Uh, this whole school just kind of gives me the creeps. It's like... <laughs> it feels like it's owned by a freaking mob or something. Getting threats from some kid's dad? Like, holy shit. Now why is the school bus taking us to the diner? I don't get it. <laughs> Just my sights. Okay. Why? Oh, there's a lighthouse. I was about to say, why is the game doing this whole long-ass bus scene, but... I guess it was just to show me the freaking lighthouse? I don't... nice at the school to provide transportation like that. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. She looks busy and stressed. Hi. You look lost. Close. <laughs> Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. Uh, I don't know. Well, what? Well, yeah, but I just got off the Blackwell Academy bus, not... I, I, I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Striking up random conversation with people. Okay. What? 
All right. You better not be in any trouble. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. He also looks kind of creepy. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Right. <laughs> Good luck with that. All right. There's an invisi barrier, uh, preventing us from going to the street. And yes, I, I don't know. want to go that way. Okay, Max. Fine. I was about to say yes. I know the diner is that way, but I wanted to explore. But no, the game says no. No exploration for you. What is that? Hold to another universe. What? Didn't we see that somewhere else? I don't remember where else. In the bathroom or something? Or in the dorms? Somewhere in the dorms. Ducky! Oh, stop that! Stop! No barking. Uh, okay. There's something creepy about that guy and his dog. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Oh, same RV, huh? Interesting. Well, is there a way that I can, uh, lure the dog somewhere else? Or is it just trying to do the same thing over and over? Alright. There must be a way to get the dog away. What is this? Save our city. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. You're reading them. Uh huh. Man made drought in the bay. He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay crusty fisherman. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. <laughs> I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Yeah, cause he's so happy fishing. I think I've talked my quota for the year. Alright, um... Are there no, like, dumpsters or anything? <laughs> Go dumpster diving for a piece of food to give the dog something? Yes, we're open! Five ninety-five for bacon and eggs. Hmm. I can't decide if that's a uh, decent price or not. I wonder if they explained that snow. Snow? Well, that's a good start to the story. In a rare admission, the National Weather Service has yet to come up with a conclusive re reason for unusual snowfall that briefly hit Arcadia Bay, Oregon this week. So, no. No we explanation. are going to be retro soon. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow! I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! <laughs> the snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Excuse me. I have to read my horoscope. <laughs> Horoscopes are pretty amusing. 
Not particularly useful, but amusing. Homeless woman. Poor woman. I hope it's a shelter for her. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Hmm. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell, almost. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I have to go now. What? Bye -bye. I wanted to talk to her about Chloe. Come talk to me any old time you want, young lady. Interesting. Um, this game seems to do that a lot, where your conversations don't exactly... You don't get to explore all the conversation choices, and if you want to, you kind of have to rewind, but... I mean... Should I rewind just to talk to her about Chloe? It's one speech option, but uh, never mind. You know what? I don't... I don't particularly care enough. <laughs> Sorry. Like, she hasn't really said anything that's really revolutionary, so... Ooh, is that fly buzzing sound? Ugh. I hate the fly buzzing sound. Ooh, I can take a photo! I'd be scared that the guy would, like, yell at me for doing that. Huh. Interesting. But, uh, yeah, we found the dumpsters, but no morsel of food for the doggies, so apparently we can't lure the doggie away or anything. I don't know, when I just see dogs guarding something, that's my first thought. <laughs> Give it food, make it go away. And yeah, she's gonna be like, I don't, I don't want to go that way. way. Just making sure that I've reached the boundaries that the game have set, has set for me before we go on in. But uh, actually, <laughs> I need to cut here, so I'll see you guys next time for the actual inside of the diner. See you guys then!